Assalamualaikum Hi everyone This video is about topic 4 Theory of Production and Cost And for this part, for this video I will explain more on cost of production Okay, before we uh, start Let me let, uh, uh, let me ask you one question what is difference between short run and long run? Okay, do you still remember what is difference between short run and long run? Okay, once you get the answer, let's proceed. Okay, what is cost of production? Cost of production means a payment made by firms to the factors of production used in producing the output of goods and services. You always say about cost, okay, high cost. What is what is it? It is the payment for the factors of production ataupun harga barang mentah. Okay, for burger, to produce a burger, two ringgit is the is the price for the burger that is not cost itu adalah harga burger cost dia harga rotinya berapa berapa upah berapa sewa kedai itu semua dikira sebagai cost okay okay in this uh, cost also we have short run and long run short run a production period in which at least one of the input is fits. Okay, as long as you have one fits input or one fits cost, that is considered as short run. Okay, a fits input is an input which the quantity does not change according to the amount of output, for example, machinery. So the ran that you use for machine or the ran that you use for factory considered as fixed cost because uh, doesn't matter how much is the production the total output but the the payment of rent still the same you produce 1000 burger still you have to pay 500 sewa if you produce one, uh, 2000 burger still you have to pay to uh, the, the same rent okay that is for short run for the long run all the inputs all the costs are variable no fixed cost semuanya dah berubah okay so variable input will change according to uh, will change according to the amount of output for example you punya burger uh, sekarang you dah produce 1 million daripada 1000 dah produce 1 million you have to add one more machine contohnya ataupun one more factory so itu dah berubah ok dah tak fix dikira sebagai long run ok dan biasanya label is a variable input in the course also we have to differentiate the economic cost and economic profit okay in the economic cost we have two types of costs implicit cost and explicit cost implicit cost basically not an accounting cost and is viewed as an economic cost the opportunity cost of using resources owned by the firm and is not shown or reported in the statement, account statement, ataupun balance sheet, tidak dimasukkan. For example, if a firm owns warehouse and using the warehouse, the implicit cost is the rental income if the warehouse is rented out to other firms. Okay, now you use the warehouse. Before this, if you do not, uh, do not use that, that, that warehouse you have rent uh, rental for 1000 per month contohnya you dapat every month 1000 ringgit 
but now you use that warehouse. So, 1,000 you dah tak dapat. Itulah dia implicit cost. Cost yang you terpaksa lepaskan. Okay, tu adalah implicit cost. Another example, contoh, you want to set up business but previously you are an executive. Okay, tourism executive. Gaji 5,000 ringgit, for example. And now you think, oh, you want to set up travel agency. Bila you dah set up your business, you bukan lagi pekerja menjadi eksekutif tu. So, sekarang you dah tak dapat 5,000. You set up business. And 5,000 yang you supposedly dapat kalau you bekerja, itu dikira implicit cost. Dan cost ini tidak direkodkan dalam mana-mana uh, laporan keuangan. Okay. Itu untuk implicit. For explicit cost, the real payment for any transactions which are purchased for production purpose and will documented accordingly. Ni biasalah. Explicit cost, contohnya overhead cost, operating cost. So, uh, for example, payment for fuel, electricity and raw material. So, itu adalah contoh-contoh explicit. Biasalah. Dia ni memang ada dalam accounting cost. Untuk implicit, tak ada dalam accounting cost. Okay. Uh, profit. Macam biasa. Total revenue minus total cost. And for economic profit, Untuk total cost, kita tambah lagi implicit cost. Kalau untuk accounting profit, macam biasa. Profit yang biasa, total revenue minus total cost. Sebagai contoh, untuk economic profit. Um, you are now to make decision whether to stay to be an executive in tourism industry ataupun nak set up travel agent. Okay, travel agency. So, sekarang ni, you buat decision. Perlu stay ke perlu buat business? Untung yang mana? So, you have to calculate all the implicit cost. And then, berapa, uh, kalau you set up travel agency, um, berapa you, keuntungan yang you boleh dapat, hasil jualan yang you boleh dapat, tolak dengan cost explicit, contoh overhead cost ataupun operating cost, tambah lagi dengan implicit cost, hmm, Contoh, yang you terpaksa let go. Uh, sewa, macam bangunan ni, kalau you sewakan, you dapatlah five, uh, 500 per month contohnya. Tapi sekarang you nak guna. 500 dah dikira burn. Dan you punya gaji 5,000 per month. So, you masukkan dah sekali dalam implicit cost. Kalau you punya economic profit positive value, means that you boleh decide untuk set up business. Tapi kalau you dapat economic loss, tak berbala you set up business. Maksudnya, better you just maintain jadi uh, eksekutif dekat tourism in, uh, tourism agents uh, tourism industry better macam tu sebab kalau you set up business pun you akan dapat loss dari segi economic economically you loss kalau you buat business sebab di kita dah masukkan implicit cost berapa month uh, yearly you punya uh, gaji dengan yearly you punya uh, apa economic profit or loss kalau dapat negatif just Maintain to be an executive. Okay, clear? Alright. It is important for you to make decision. Okay, untuk total cost. Total cost, basically the sum of cost of all inputs uh, to use Used to produce goods and services. So, total cost. Cost keseluruhan untuk you produce suatu barang lah. So, included included total fixed cost dengan total variable cost. Semua total yang tetap. Contoh, um, fat rent for factory, interest for machinery, and many more for fixed cost. And for total variable cost, all a summation of all variable cost including wages, cost of raw materials, bill, transportation, all the variable costs you have to include. Total cost, including total fixed cost plus total variable cost. 
untuk average total cost. Average total cost is the total cost per unit of output. The formula for average total cost, ATC, is the total cost divided by output. ATC equals to TC divided by Q. Okay, maksudnya kat sini, um, if the total cost, you produce 100 burger, contohnya, 100 biji burger, cost keseluruhan, yang you gunakan untuk produce 100 biji burger, itu adalah contohnya, 200 ringgit. Okay, 200 ringgit for 100 um, burger. Jadi, 200 adalah total cost. Tapi, untuk setiap biji uh, burger tadi, Setiap satu burger, berapa kos salah sebiji burger? Jadi, you bahagikanlah total cost divided by quantity. So, RM2 for each burger. So, itu adalah kos purata untuk setiap burger. Ataupun nama dia total, average total cost. Okay, untuk average for fixed cost, uh, total fixed cost divided by total output. So, cost untuk setiap, uh, cost fixed cost. Kos tetap. Okay, fixed cost untuk setiap satu biji burger. Contoh kalau you bayar sewa monthly, bayar sewa apa? RM50 lah contoh. RM50 you boleh produce 100 burger. Sewa eh. Sewa walaupun you produce banyak pun RM50 tetap you kena bayar. So, RM50 divided by 100. So, lebih kurang berapa? 50 cent. So, uh, kos sewa untuk sebiji burger adalah 50 cent. Okay, tu contoh. And then, average variable cost, contoh barang-barang mentah dengan upah gaji segala benda tu, untuk sebiji burger. Contoh tadi, total cost mana 200, uh, total fixed cost adalah 50, so 150 untuk total variable cost. Tapi 150 tu untuk 100 biji burger. Kalau you gunakan untuk satu biji burger adalah RM1.50. Okay, you bahagilah 150 divided by uh, 100 biji burger. So, you will get RM1.50. Untuk marginal cost, the change in total cost that result from a change in output. Contoh daripada 100 biji, nak tambah kepada 100, 1 biji. Okay, tambahan 1 biji lagi tu. Berapa additional cost uh, occur? Okay, so itu adalah tambahan cost bila you tambah one more unit of output. Itu adalah marginal cost. Kalau bahasa Melayu dia, kalau sesiapa yang pernah belajar ekonomi masa sekolah, Bahasa Melayu dia kata saya, saya kosut. Saya pun tak tahu daripada mana perkataan sut tu. Tapi marginal cost adalah kosut. Okay, ni contoh. Uh, untuk um, butik, bisnes butik. So, untuk total variable cost dari segi fabric, dari segi tailor, dari segi benang-benang dan segala uh, barang-barang tu. Plus dengan total fixed cost, sewa butik dengan mesin kat situ. So, Tengok total dia semua ada 2400. Sekarang ni tailor tu buat untuk 100 selai dress. Okay, untuk 100 selai dress. So, daripada sini, ibu carilah ABC, AFC dengan AC. Berapa yang you dapat? Okay. This one is the diagram. Total cost increasing. Okay, increasing as output increase. Uh, cost will increase. Of course, kan? Right? Total cost. Tapi total fixed cost sama. Dah nama pun fix. Tetap. So, dia tidak tetap sama. Walaupun dia produce, tambah lagi produce, uh, dia punya uh, value tetap kena bayar 500 sewa contohnya. Okay. And total variable cost, kalau tak ada production, zero. Kalau ada production, increase as output increase. Okay. Ni adalah cost dia. Logic pun begitu. In real life pun begitu. Okay, ni untuk average, kalau kita tengok kat sini, hmm, untuk average, average fixed cost, sebab tadi tetap, bila kita dah bahagi-bahagi, the, the value would be lower and lower and lower. That's why the curve is downward sloping, uh, dia akan turun macam tu. Sebab kita bahagi dengan 1,000, bahagi dengan 100,000, bahagi 1 juta, jadi value tu lagi kecil-kecil-kecil. And untuk marginal cost, dia reduce at some point and then, increase. Untuk average total cost pun betul. Bila kita produce lagi banyak, dia akan reduce until some point dia akan increase. Sama juga untuk AVC, reduce until some point dia akan increase. So, kalau dekat sini, you tengok MC, curve A, MC, ATC dengan AVC adalah down, eh, sorry, U shape. Okay, you nampak macam U sikit. 
ada u shape okey u shape uh, so ni untuk average so ni adalah formula and then this one i uh, create this method to remember pyramid so kalau you nak faham uh, macam mana nak calculate okey total cost adalah cost yang paling besar lah so yang t ni kita letak dekat top you bahagian top so a dekat bawah okey so tc total cost bila you nak kira total cost you tutup bahagian total cost ni tengok average total cost times q kalau nak cari atc total cost divided by q so untuk total cost ni sama dengan tfc tambah dengan tbc okey tc sama dengan tfc plus tbc and then untuk afc afc tfc bahagi q bila atas bawah macam ni you divide afc equals to tfc bahagi dengan q plus okey tbc tbc kalau nak cari tbc Allah kalau nak cari tbc um, abc times q ataupun kalau nak cari abc tbc bahagi dengan q you have to remember kalau di atas bawah macam ni bahagi kalau dia sebelah-sebelah macam ni you have to multiply abc times q to get abc and also atc here equals to afc plus abc okey ni ada simple method untuk you nak ingat formula lah. Tapi kalau you faham dah konsep sebenar kos itu should be no problem. Okay. Then untuk cari MC dia ada dua cara. First, change in TC divided by change in Q. Dia change eh. Or change in TBC divided by change in Q. Dan bila Q0 TFC sama dengan TC. Bila Q0 Total cost itu adalah total variable cost. Sebab bila Q0, total variable cost would be 0. Okay. And this one, you boleh uh, cuba jawab untuk soalan ni. Okay. So, you try dulu jawab semua total cost, total average fixed cost guna formula yang ni. Okay, you cuba jawab dan ini adalah jawapannya untuk soalan. Hmm. So, kat sini you try dulu jawab untuk kesemua. Kemudian baru tengok jawapan. Tak penting pun jawapan tu. Yang penting macam mana you nak kira dan macam mana you nak faham. Um, nak faham konsep average cost ni, total cost ni. Okay, so that's all for short run. Later, I will explain to you on the long run. Okay, guys. That's all for this video. Thank you. Bye.